Hey Scorpio, welcome to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you your daily message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is coming towards you for today. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Scorpio, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, guys, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot. Reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, what is the overall message for today for Scorpio Universe? Oh, okay. Oh, man. All right, you got the magician here in the reverse. So there's some scattered energy here, something that you're dealing with that you can't seem to get focused on, that you, something that you can't really kind of tap into, okay? You're, you're struggling with that. But then you also got the chariot here. So there is going to be success. I feel that there's going to be some clarity here with this situation that you're currently going through, um, you are going to see, you are going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There is going to be some, some success here. There's going to be some clarity here, but right now you're just really in this magician energy where everything just doesn't seem to be working right for you. Three of swords, you're dealing with the heartache. Okay. Five of Pentacles, there's a connection that's been left out in the cold, the justice, somebody has been lying to you and the tower moment, you don't want this to end. You don't want the connection to end. But I feel with the chariot, it may be time for you to move on from this already. Okay. It may be time for you to continue moving on to find some clarity, to find some peace of mind. All right. Because your energy is just everywhere. Everything is just like haywire. Look, lovers. Yeah, definitely. The lovers in the reverse. This is in regards to connection that you're currently in separation with. You got the page of pentacles here. So there's some type of forward movement towards you slowly but surely. I feel that this is going to be the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You see how the girl's holding on to that, to that flower that's being illuminated. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. You have to make a decision to move away from this energy already. Okay. You may have found out some secrets. This person had you in a third party situation possibly, but I feel that the end is coming, coming to the end is coming I mean, the end is here already. I take that back. The end is here already. You already hit rock bottom. It couldn't get any lower than this, okay? Now it's time for you to have a new start, for you to recover, for you to move on from this connection, okay? You may have even been married to this person, but the love isn't there anymore, okay? You got to come to terms with that. The love isn't there anymore with the Queen of Cups, with the Five of Swords. There is a lot of deception. This person is very in and out of your life, okay? With the Nine of Swords, it's time for you to get yourself out of this stagnant energy. Like, you have been in this depressive mode for a while now. It's time for you to rest, for you to recover, for you to heal, and for you to move yourself away from this extreme turmoil already, okay? Time for you to balance things out. Time for you to give love for yourself, okay? Start working on yourself. Don't give up on yourself with the Nine of Wands here, okay? With the Knight of Swords, this person may have mistreated you on all levels, okay? They they disrespected you. They called you out of your name. They, they've just done so many things for you, to you, okay? And you don't want to walk away, but you have to walk away. You have to walk away, okay? This person may like the party life. They definitely have you in a third party situation. This person is just out for themselves. They're not worried about anyone else but themselves. You're not going to get any, get any form of apologies from this person. You're not going to get any emotional sympathy from this person. Why? Because this person is only worried about themselves right now. It is time for you to close this cycle out. Okay. As you close this cycle out, the wheel of fortune is going to start turning in your behalf. Okay. The wheel of fortune is going to start turning your behalf. You're going to start feeling love for yourself, love for your environment, love for the people around you, okay? <clears throat> With the king of swords, it's time for you to speak a truth and walk the fuck away from this person already, okay? Because you actually do have new love coming towards you with the Ace of Cups. There's somebody that's going to come in here that's going to want to put the work in the connection. This person's going to be a soulmate. They're going to feel just right. With the Seven of Cups here, they're not going to make you an option. You're not going to be an option. You are going to be their Queen of Wands. You are going to be their Queen of Swords. They see you 
as a very sexy, straightforward queen, okay? Like you, you have nothing to hide. You have nothing to lie about, okay? With the queen of wands here, that energy, they see you very sexy, very vibrant. This new person is going to want to build a future with you. With the three of wands, they're going to want to build... Um, they're going to want to make future plans with you is what I'm hearing. Drop the burdens. It's time for you to let it go. Okay. Slowly but surely you will get over this past person. Okay. Keep in mind, this person may keep on spying on you. They're going to want to know what the hell you're up to. But with the five of cups here, it's time for you to remove them. It's time for you to walk away from this. Okay. You're headed towards the king of pentacles here. It's time for you to make a life-changing decision, okay? In order for you to open up the doors to a passion and new beginning for yourself, not for a relationship, it's time for you to make a decision, okay? There is no more growth in this past connection. This person is making you um, an option with the seven of wands here. Like you're always fighting for this person's attention. That is not cool. This, there's not going to be any healing, okay? I want you to really understand that, that this connection isn't going to heal. This connection is totally done already. Okay, and with two of wands and the two of swords here, it's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to move towards your new beginning. Okay, release this, release this anxiety, release this stress, release the shit that you're already tired of. Okay, release this person because there is no more mo movement forward in this connection. The only thing you can do is move forward to your happiness, to your stability, because you are going to have the opportunity at new love here, but you have to release this past person first. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get you some overall messages here. What is the overall message for my Scorpio universe? True love, didn't it? There's true love going to be heading your way, okay? You got to let go of this person. You're coming apart. Let that situation go already. There is no more coming back to this situation. Why? Because this it's done. The universe made this connection separate. They, they made you see what really was going on in this situation. Why? Because you have true love waiting for you. OK, you have someone that's going to come in here and respect you, give you the love that you deserve and treat you like the queen or king that you are. OK. All right, guys, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Talk to you soon. Bye.